A lot of people got rain Friday, Saturday. How much depended on your location. The coastal areas tended to pick up more, nearly eight inches over in Aransas. And then as you get farther inland, Kingsville, Alice, down to around a half inch to two inches in those spots. At the airport, officially 2.37 inches of rain. Places in these areas in the coastal bend, you know, these aren't hard and fast numbers. These are just for specific locations. I know we had a lot of reports of around 10 inches in parts of San Patricio County and between six and maybe eight or nine inches in Nueces County for some of you. The watershed is already showing a little bit of improvement up almost a half a percent just since last Thursday. Now the runoff from a lot of these rains are uh, going to take some time to get in there, so we'll have to wait to see just how much improvement we see there. Do know that the Skeeters are going to be out there. The Skeeter meter have got it up to the high category by Thursday. It takes about a day or two for the hatchlings to get out and active after big rain events. So that'll be something that we have to deal with because of the rain. It's 85 right now. A southeast wind 17 miles per hour. Very hot inland near 100 in Falfurius over 100 in Hebronville. Reason why the heat index isn't higher out there is because it's less humid, but that's also why the temperatures are higher in Hebronville. A lot of people between uh, the 281 and 77 corridors up in the triple digits on the heat index value. So it's certainly very warm and humid outside. Southeasterly winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour, helping get that humidity back into the atmosphere. Uh, I did have a few clouds earlier today, fair weather cumulus clouds, but it's fairly clear right now for a lot of the coastal bend. Can't say the same up to the north. We've got a tornado watch and a severe thunderstorm watch uh, for Dallas and Lubbock here this evening. There's a front that's up in that part of the state, which will eventually work down here tomorrow, and then you've got some upper level energy helping to kick those thunderstorms off. You can see that piece uh, near the Four Corners region. So we'll see this front harmlessly pass through here tomorrow. It'll kick off an isolated shower or two. And then on Wednesday through Friday, high pressure to our north is going to deliver us some very nice weather by the weekend. Mother's Day weekend, that high slides off into the eastern Gulf, and that will bring the return uh, breezy southeast winds and more humidity. Rain chances look pretty low this week outside of tomorrow's isolated shower activity. And again, that will come in as this front moves in tomorrow morning. See a few showers out there. The front kind of hangs out throughout the day and won't push completely through until the evening hour. So uh, we'll catch that north wind shift. A few more isolated showers in the mid to late afternoon. And after that, things look pretty good here as we work into Wednesday, mid to low 80s with a northeast breeze and a little less humidity. Rain totals going to be pretty minuscule. Some places may get up to a tenth of an inch, but most people won't get there. This front not going to be a strong one. We'll be in the 80s this week, pretty close to seasonal average, mid to upper 60s overnight uh, through Friday. Tonight, mid to low 70s, some patchy fog out there with the southeasterly breeze. Tomorrow, mid 80s, but a few isolated showers with that weak front moving in. If you're out on the water, watch out for that shower or chance for a rogue thunderstorm on area waters. Uh, otherwise, slightly choppy if you manage to dodge the rain. And again, this week looking pretty seasonal with respect to averages. Lots of 80s. Very nice weather Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on Mother's Day. Few clouds, breezy and humid with a high of 87. Rudy, just don't like those mosquitoes. All right, Mr. Allen, thank you so much.